so the very first card I pulled was a bunch of conflict going on. People were pointing their fingers and blaming you for something um, or blaming somebody for something. This was in the reverse. So there was a group of people that were blaming someone or accusing someone of something. And this is Groot. And this was in the reverse. So usually you think of Groot as like your friend or, or your buddy. And this is in the reverse. So to me, I'm seeing that somebody that you thought you were... Um, that you thought was your friend betrayed you for some reason and they kind of got in involved in this group um group attack against you um this person the other reason the only other card i have in the reverse is this and this is Groot. and then if you look you see fo footprints and like boots stomping um like shoes and boots and, you know, you see a sad look on Groot's face. So there's something that you did that stomped on Groot's toes. Um, so somebody offended somebody. And this person took it personally. Um, this person was someone that you thought you could trust. But they were involved in a lot of um, activities that happened against you. There were a lot of people pointing their fingers at somebody. Um, and I feel like it was a divine femur, divine masculine and there's someone here and this is a divine femme or divine masculine i'm picking up on a masculine energy um that could be wearing a mask but they are keeping it hidden that they're secretly protecting you or doing something behind the scenes and i feel like they have your back whoever this is i feel like somebody has your back and you don't even realize it somebody thinks you're lucky four leaf clover Hard to find, but lucky to have. People see you as lucky. They don't know how you have survived what you have survived. They don't know how you're eating every day. They don't know how you're making money. They don't know how you are existing day to day after everything that you've gone through. Because there were multiple people that were pointing the fingers at you. Saying that you were this, that, and the other. And you even had people that you thought you could trust that betrayed you because they got their feelings all butt hurt. They feel like you stepped on their toes in some way. Someone's holding a grudge against you. And now someone's kind of defending you from behind the scenes. I could argue with you, but we'd both be wrong. And this was in the reverse. So you had an argument or disagreement with somebody that you were close to. And they're still holding a grudge against you for some reason. And they were involved in this attack against you. Language was invented so we could complain. And this came out sideways. So someone is still complaining. As of now. I, I feel like this is present energy. I look at my sideways cards more as like present energy going on. Someone is complaining about how lucky you are. Um, I'm really strongly getting <clears throat> like a conversation between a couple people. And it's almost like... I can't believe that they're still breathing. I can't believe that they're still this. How come they haven't gotten kicked out of this house? How come they haven't gotten this? How come we did everything? Why are they still here? They have to be lucky. And someone is complaining about it. Someone is so upset that you have anything. That you're breathing. That you have a roof over your head. That you have visitation with your children. If you have kids. That you have food to eat. If you have a job. Someone didn't want you to have anything or the ability to make a living for yourself. And somebody that you really trusted betrayed you in a very deep way. Alright, let's get in here and see what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, you need to use your intuition. Be careful of who you trust. There's somebody that you thought you could trust that you really can't, and they're going behind the scenes, and um, they're feeding information to people who are out to hurt you, and they may not realize that they're doing this, but they want to feel accepted, and they feel hurt. Maybe you haven't spoken to this person for a while. Maybe this person doesn't realize that you have a life, that you have responsibilities, but you really need to use your intuition because somebody is working against you and you thought you could trust this person. You really did. You thought that they would have your back and they really don't. Somebody is betraying you as we speak.
it's not serious in the reverse. Somebody doesn't realize the severity of what they're doing. This person that you thought you could trust don't realize that what they're doing, it is fucking serious. This is serious. This affects your livelihood, your job, your children. Someone could be trying to get your children taken away. Someone needs to clean out their closet. I need to clean out my closet in the upright. Someone is going to come tell you some sort of secret or they need to because someone has been secretly watching you. I blocked you or you blocked me. You blocked this person. This is a karmic energy. This is in the reverse. So this is past energy. You blocked this person and they're still secretly watching you. They feel like you stepped on their toes in some way or you tried to hurt them in some way. And newsflash, not everything's about you, karmic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The world doesn't re revolve around you. This person has more important things to worry about than you getting your goddamn feelings hurt. Someone is feeling desperate. This person is feeling like you're never going to give them another chance. They feel like you're moving on. You could be in the process of getting ready to move or relocate. And this person feels like they're running out of time. They, they don't know what to do. They're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's get a few tarot cards. So you've healed from a betrayal from this person who is secretly watching you. Um, there were lies told about you. Knight of Wands in the reverse. So someone could have lied about you. They could have lied to the courts about you. They could have lied to other people about you. Um, somebody tried to stop someone from traveling towards you with some sort of information. So someone could have also been withholding information that would have made your life much better or easier. Someone could have been withholding information or stopping information from reaching you. And you've healed from some sort of heartbreak and someone is surprised by this. They didn't want this to happen because someone was keeping a secret from you. Something was supposed to stay hidden and you were not supposed to find out about it. You were not supposed to find out that this queen of swords lied to you or lied about you. There's someone here who is a liar. This could be a feminine energy or a man in their little bitch energy. When a man is in the reverse acting like a karmic little bitch, I'm going to call him that because that's exactly what they're acting like. You are coming up as the queen of pentacles energy. So you could be making money right now. You are really good with budgeting money, finances, um, managing money. And there were lies told about you saying that you were irresponsible. You don't know how to manage money. Um, you could be you know, someone could have said that you were poor or homeless because you don't know how to handle your finances. Someone said some really bad things about you, and this is someone that you trusted. Meanwhile, you are legit in your Queen of Pentacles energy, and this person is left looking like an idiot because everything they said is being proven to be untrue. Someone caused an injustice to you, and they're going to have to pay spiritual karma they're under spiritual judgment for what they have done to you. They've broken secular laws or karmic laws. They could spend time in a federal prison for what they have done to you. You are fighting a lot of battles. There's a lot of conflicts going on. And it's because people betrayed you that you thought you could trust. There were people, friends, family, you never expected to turn their backs on you. And they did. And they hurt you in the worst possible way. It's really sad. It's really sad. It really is. You didn't have to go everything. You didn't have to go through everything you went through. It was orchestrated. It was. And people made your life hard on purpose. All right. I'm not getting anything else out of these cards. So let's check these. I need some more clarification. I want to find out what the hell's going on here. It's because you're seen as held in high honor. People don't want... This person doesn't want you to be respected. They don't want people to look up to you. This person that lied on you, 
could have been jealous of um, any attention that you could have been getting. But someone did not want you to be seen as someone as who is held in high honor. Not only are you in your queen of pentacles, but you are in high honor. You are respectable. I don't give a shit if the whole community, if the whole town, if the whole county, if the whole state thinks you're a piece of shit in the spiritual realm. You are respected. Knight of Wands in the reverse. This person was immature. They did something without thinking about it. They acted like a little bitch. And I'm getting a feminine energy with this. So this could be masculine or feminine energy. Flip the rules as needed. But this is definitely a little bitch energy. A jealous bitch. Someone who's like, hey, hey, I don't care whose life I ruin as long as I get what I want. Like... Oh, God, I could strangle the life out of this little bitch. Oh, God. Her voice is really annoying. You're in your nine of pentacles. You're working on making finances. You always have the ability to make more. No matter what people take from you, you have so many gifts and talents. You can always regenerate. You always come back. You're like the... You're a phoenix. Whenever... Whenever anyone tries to bury you in the ground, that's when you sprout back up even better than you were before. Every time that you have lost everything or you've had to rebuild yourself, you sprout back up and you end up with more than what you had before. Every time someone comes against you, they, they only blow you up. They only make you better. You transmute the energy. You turn whatever is meant to be negative into something positive. And you grow and you blow up. And people love you and respect you. And this drives somebody crazy. They cannot stand it. Somebody actually hates this. And you've caught the eye of an emperor. Or you are an emperor. So if you're coming out as the queen of pentacles, you could be balanced. Or if you are a female, you could have caught the eye of an emperor. Because of whatever work you do, someone could be um, recognizing you and appreciating you, and they could be secretly defending you against someone, something, these group of people, and you don't even know it. And that's because they are under judgment, because they are evil. These people are evil. They are not the star. They are using underhanded dark magic tactics, underhanded shit to try to ruin your life. These are not divine people, and that's why they are under judgment, because they did a lot of shady shit to you, and they were, there was no basis for it. They were not being divinely guided. They may claim to be Christians or something like that, but let me tell you, I have known true Christian people, and they are good people. These people who claim to be religious, they're not. They're not. I mean, oh, they might be, but they're not worshiping the God they claim they are, that's for sure. Because the shit they do is satanic and dark and evil. I don't care what religion they claim to be. These people did everything they could to come against you to break your peace. You are heavily protected. You know how to protect your space. They could not penetrate your aura. You do your return to senders. You do your protection. You may sage. You may, um, you know, whatever you do, I don't want to get into it and... Um, you know, give them more ideas on how to attack you. But whatever you're doing to protect yourself, um, you've been doing a good job. Keep doing it because it's worked. Because you've been able to protect yourself against these dark attacks. <clears throat> Even when it doesn't seem like it, you are very protected. Yeah, these people made a decision to try to hurt you and affect you in some way. They did not know how connected you were to the spiritual realm. In fact, they said the opposite about you, um, especially if you're spiritual or anything like that. Or even if you go to church um, or you're religious, these people didn't think you were religious enough. No matter what you did, it wasn't good enough. You were still being judged. You could be sitting on the same church pew as five other people and they still thought they were better than you because of some reason. And this is ridiculous. I know my Bible and I know what it says. And you are not supposed to judge one person based on how they look or what you hear. First of all, there are so many proverbs that tell you to keep your mouth shut and control your own goddamn tongue. You know how many people walk out of the church and the first thing they do is start talking shit about the people who they were just praising God with? You think your ass is going to heaven? Oh. <gasps> oh. Make me laugh, please. Make me fucking laugh. I was raised in church. I know I know the truth. Someone is rushing towards you. 
half the people that sit on a church pew are not getting into heaven. Whatever they think or whatever they believe, they're not getting there because they're too busy. They're focused on hate. They claim to love, but they would throw you under the bus in a minute. If you were in need, are they doing fundraisers for you? No, but your buddy in pew number two, they would raise a million dollars for that mofo, but would they help you out? No, there's your sign. There's your answer right there. If they wouldn't do the same for you as they would do for someone else, there's your answer. You're supposed to have that agape love, that unconditional love, not that um, judging someone based on how much money they have, what home they live in, what car they drive. No, that is not how you operate. No. This is a high priestess in reverse, or high priest if you're a masculine. Someone pretends to have spiritual gifts, talents. You could be a priest, priest, preacher, false preacher, whatever. I'm strongly getting someone in the church who pretends to be holier than thou. Someone who pretends to be a saint and they're like a spawn of Satan. A wolf in sheep's clothing, to say the least. You have someone rushing towards you that wants to be your Ten of Cups, that sees you as the Ten of Cups. They haven't exposed themselves to you, and I don't mean... I don't mean whipping out their willy and exposing themselves literally. They're secretly admiring you and hiding behind the scenes, but they're protecting you in some way and you don't even know. Especially if these people have used the courts or churches or somebody, um, somebody, um, somebody higher up caught wind of what was going on. Somebody got a message of concern and this really disturbed them about what this false high priest or priestess was doing to you. It's almost like they couldn't believe it. Like, it, it's like it was shocking to this person. It's like, wait a minute. This person comes in here and testifies every Sunday. They get up here and preach and this and that. And they told us that you were the devil and you were worshiping Satan. And you can read tarot cards. And um, that you're casting spells and doing dark magic on everybody. And meanwhile, it's this person that was doing spells behind the scenes. Pretending to worship God. Man. This is, this is a piece of work, I'll say that. This, I feel like there's a special place in hell for people who use spirituality, um, you know, spirituality to manipulate and control people and bend them to their will and use that, man, it's the blind leading the blind. You are going to be celebrating. The false high priestess came out again. This person is a thief. They were trying to steal something from you. Time, money, energy, your children. You could have been married to this person. You could have attended church with this person. You could have been part of the same social organization. You could have worked together. However this applies to you, someone wanted to steal what you have. And they were a false person. They were not a spiritual person. Whatever divine gifts they have, they use them for dark and evil. This is not an... I'm telling you, whatever God this person worships, it's not the same God that we do. I don't care what you call it, universe, God, divine, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I've been baptized. I know how this works. Um, but I also don't push my shit on other people. Someone's going to be giving you a house. You're going to be moving. Um, there, Someone's getting a house. You're going to be celebrating if you've been homeless, if you've been out on the streets, if you've had to suffer. Someone tried to make you look guilty of something out of their emotions, envy, jealousy. They said you were lazy, that you wouldn't work, that you couldn't hold a job. No, this asshole was going and getting you fired for every job you had. Every job you had, this person tried to get you fired from. If you had a career, this person tried to interfere out of jealousy. The Queen of Cups in reverse. This person was jealous of you. They are emotionally unstable. They said you were emotionally unstable. And this person is as guilty of everything they, t they said that you were. In the upright, I look at this as an innocence card. In the reverse, this is guilty as fucking sin. Whatever they projected onto you is exactly what they are, and it's because they had something to steal from you. These fell on the floor. Something's not going in this person's favor. They were not successful because, believe it or not, you have caught the attention of someone higher up, and you're going to have community support. 
a lot of people came against you, fought against you. A lot of people didn't believe your story, but they're seeing you now. They are seeing you. They're supporting you. If it ain't happened yet, it's just a matter of time. It will. You have money coming towards you. The Knight of Pentacles. You could be getting a court judgment in your favor because of what was done to you. Um, I've been strongly getting restitution a lot. There's some sort of restitution that somebody is going to get because there were so many people that judged you based on what these people said and did to you. These false reports, these false allegations. They used the courts against you to justify their shitty behavior. Something swiftly is going to be happening for you. And if you're in a state of poverty or you're five of pentacles, honey, you're moving on up. You're coming out of that shit. This is in the upright. This is future energy. If you if it hasn't happened yet, it just hasn't happened yet. But it's going to. Swift action. This is going to be happening quickly. So in the near future, someone's coming up out of poverty. Five of pentacles. You're coming out of that. And there's going to be a group of people supporting you. And someone's getting a house. Shit, I claim this one. No one else does. I fucking claim this shit right here. I know what I've been through. When I say that some of us are on the same timeline, just because I don't advertise the shit I'm going through, doesn't mean I ain't going through it right there with you, or I haven't been through it with you. This is Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone didn't want you to have a new start. Someone wanted you to lose your financial stability. Someone didn't want you to have a family. Someone didn't want you to have a home. They're under judgment because they created the situation that they put you in. There's a lot of emotions here. And the emotions here were caused by people who had no business being in your goddamn business in the first place. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor and you're in the upright. Because these people had no business sticking their nose in your fucking business. How many proverbs is there about minding your own business? Hmm? Watching your tongue. Not slandering. Not gossiping. Man, if y'all are going to get on here and preach the Bible, if you're going to go to church on Sundays, you should know what that <laughs> know what that Bible says. Know what that book says. If you're going to worship it and believe it, you should fucking learn it. And if you're going to tell someone you think they're going to go to hell because they say the word fuck, then that's another problem between you and God because God doesn't have a problem with me. He's my He's the one that gave me these gifts. I wouldn't have them if, you know, but we're not going to get into a spiritual debate on here. I'm just saying it is what it is. All right. I'm going to pull a few Garfield cards and see. <laughs> Chomp, slurp, gobble, narf. The same person that judges you for sinning, calls you evil, just sins differently. This is in the reverse. This is the same person that will condemn someone to hell for smoking. Meanwhile, they're overeating and they're like 600 pounds or they have a nasty ass house. They don't clean up after themselves or something. What did I just say? I might as well exercise, but I'm in a bad mood anyway in the reverse. This person, this person is really quick to point out your sins. Meanwhile, they're overeating. They're gluttonous. They don't exercise. The only thing they exercise is their mouth on that phone, burning up those phone lines, talking shit about you, divine femme, divine masculine. coolness it's a curse this person tried to curse you they think they're cool they think they're gaining heaven points they think they're gaining a place in heaven by talking shit about you and condemning you to hell last time i checked this person wasn't jesus last time i checked this person wasn't crucified for my sins this person's a liar this is garfield on the scales in the reverse screaming liar this person's a bald-faced liar everything they said and did is a lie Someone's about to shoot off like a rocket. This is, man, this is like someone blowing their top. Someone's about to explode. Something's about to explode. Monday could be significant, but something is, oh, someone's pissed. This is pissed, pissed, pissed. Someone can't believe what they're hearing. Someone can't believe what they've seen, what this person did. You know how many people this person turned against one person? This could be your mother, friend, someone that you looked up to, someone you respected, relative, 
I don't know, take it how it applies to your situation, but this person is very, and, and the, they might not even go to church, but they pretend like they are religious. That's the thing. Someone is fit to be tied. I said someone was pissed. Someone is really, really pissed. Someone is fit to be tied. That is no joke. Someone is mad. Because they wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink. They wanted you to be in poverty and that's why you're about to get a house. Because someone tried to take everything from you. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. Q, R, S, or T. A, B, C, and D. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Man, that came out again. Then we have the air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Something could be happening on a Wednesday. And then I have Thursday and then spring. And then I have a Cancer that did something back in March. So this is a past. So a Cancer did something back in March to a Scorpio. Scorpio could be getting justice in January. The initials E, F, G, and H could be significant. Man. <clears throat> when shit comes out like that, one right after another. I mean, that's just the way it is. Chip off the old block. This is someone that you're probably related to. When I see chip off the old block, I think of relative. That's what it means. That's what it means to me. And this is my reading. Someone's related to you that was involved in this. Once again, a Virgo. The initials I, J, K, and L. Man. Someone's a dime a dozen. They're a regular old thief. This person's a piece of shit. They didn't want you to be seen as anything special. Pisces. Yeah. They didn't want anyone to respect you. Wow. These cards are flying all over. Man, spirit. <laughs> Spirit's pissed off. <laughs> These cards are going every which way. What goes around comes around. What this person wanted for you is exactly what's going to happen to, to them. You reap, I was just going to say this, karma is a bitch, you reap what you sow. That's biblical, isn't it? I'm telling you, read your Bibles. If you're going to quote it, if you're going to go around crucifying people on that shit, know what it fucking means and know that you're going to have to, you are going to be judged for that which you judge others. You reap what you sow. There are two peas in a pod. There are, are at least two people involved with this and at least one of them's a church member one of them's a relative maybe both i mean they both could go to church maybe they go to the same church but there are two people here that pretend to be religious something happened back in december that could be the date of an event or somebody's birthday someone was a loose cannon against a pisces man someone lost their temper someone's a narcissist someone thinks outside the box every time someone tries to do you in you're able to maneuver around it. Because guess who has the true protection of the divine? The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Guess who's more connected to God than your religious ass? That's why you're about to hit the ivory tower, boo. Sucks to be you. Because those who are in the upright knows how to get through the storm. They have a connection that you will never be able to come close to. Libra significant is going to get a twist of fate. Someone's not going to see this coming. There's no question about it. All right, let's pull some letters before I run out of time. This was a good one, man. I've almost, I almost felt like I was at church and I haven't been to church for a minute, but, you know, A could be significant, person, place, or a thing. Most of the time I feel like it's related to a name, but take it how it resonates or applies to your situation. The letter Y. T, so Tay. Tay Taylor could be significant. <coughs> oh. <laughs> mm. I'm hearing Tay Tay. B. Tabor. I don't know what Tabor is, but that has popped into my head. I'll get one more. Actually, two because they're stuck together. Double T. Another T came out. And then we have a P. What up, Preach? All right. I hope this helps. 
So double T-A-Y-O-B-N-P, all right? Have a good night, folks.